Here's an interesting question. We have a block of mass 2.1 kg hanging by a wire whose young modulus of the material of the wire is given to be 1.9 into 10 raise for my, uh, into 10 raise by 11 newtons per meter square. Area of cross section of the wire is given and the natural length of the wire is also given. We need to find out the elastic potential energy stored in wire in steady state. Now, first thing you should realize is that what happens in this case due to the mass 2.1 kg of this object and the gravitational force acting on this object, there is a stress in this wire because there is tension in this wire there, therefore tension upon the area of cross section of the wire gives us a stress in the wire. Now, we know that the young modulus, Young's modulus of the material of the wire is equal to stress upon strain. So, therefore definitely there will be a strain in the wire. The strain of a, the strain is always equal to change in configuration upon original configuration. Therefore, there will be a change in length of this wire from its natural length. The natural length initially was L is equal to 50 centimeters. Now, there will be some change in length of this wire. So, this wire undergoes extension. Now, when the wire undergoes extension, there is a potential energy stored in the wire. So, we need to find out that elastic potential energy stored in the wire in steady state. So, now here let us find out the formula for the elastic potential energy stored in a wire. Now, let the natural length of this wire be equal to L and there is an external force F acting on this wire at this point in the downward direction due to which this wire starts going extension, starts experiencing extension. Let this be extended by x already and this force F is still acting on the object. Let this be capital L. So, the extension now in the wire is x. Therefore, we can write the stress in the wire is equal to F upon A. The strain is equal to change in configuration that is change in length that is x upon original length upon L. Young's modulus can be written as stress upon strain that is F upon A upon x upon L. Therefore, F is equal to A y upon L into x. We see here that force is directly proportional to x. This is a formula which we have already seen in simple harmonic motion this uh, kind of formula and therefore, we can also say that here is a trick. We can also say that this wire acts like a spring of spring constant A y upon L. This is an important trick for uh, uh, many of the uh, questions which you will solve in a, so, which you will solve in elasticity that whenever there is a question you can replace the wire by a spring of spring constant y a upon L where y is the young modulus of the material of the wire, A is the area of cross section of the wire and L is the natural length, uh, length of the wire. We will solve this question by that method also, but let us proceed here using this formula. Now, at this extension x, let there be a dx extension more in the wire. So, the work done by the external force f comes out to be f into dx that is equal to a y x dx upon L. To find out the total work done when the extension goes from x goes from 0 to L, L is the total extension in the wire. This comes out to be a y upon L into L square by 2. Therefore, we can see here by rearranging terms that this is equal to half into y a upon L into this is capital L into L square. Therefore, again if we use that spring concept, the a spring of spring constant k when undergoes an extension L, its potential energy can be written as half k L square. The same formula goes here. I have already told you that y a upon L can be treated as the spring constant of the spring. So, this becomes half k L square. This is the best method to find out the elastic potential energy stored in a wire, always treat it as a 
spring of spring constant y a upon l. Now, this formula can also be modified in another manner. This can be written as half into half into l upon l into a l into y into l upon l. This is l l cancels to give us half y a l square upon l. This is the same formula which we get here y a l square upon 2 l. Therefore, this can be written like this. Now, this can be written as half into this is the strain in the wire, this is the volume of the wire. Area of cross section into length of the wire, volume of wire, and y l upon l is the stress in the wire because y is equal to stress upon strain upon small l upon capital L. Therefore, stress is equal to capital Y into small l upon capital L. Therefore, this is the stress in wire. So, we get another formula for potential energy that is elastic potential energy that we call it. So, the formula for elastic potential energy stored in wire comes out to be half into strain in the wire into stress in the wire into the volume of the wire. There are in different questions you can use different formulas use the best uh, suitable formula. Therefore, we get one formula is this and the other formula is half k into x square. I still prefer half k into x square where x is the total extension in the spring to be the best formula. So, let us solve this question now. In this question, let us first find out the tension in the wire. The tension in the wire will come out to be 2.1 into g. The stress in the wire will come out to be T upon A, area of cross section is given to be 3 millimeter square. Therefore, stress is equal to 2.1 g upon 3 into 10 ratio minus 6. Newtons per meter square. The strain this can be written as stress upon y because y is equal to stress upon strain. We already know the value of y, therefore, strain can be written as 2.1 g upon 3 into 10 raise to minus 6 into 1.9 into 10 raise to the power 11. So, we get the value for stress, we get the value for strain. Now, the volume of the wire is equal to A into L that is A into natural length that is equal to 3 into 10 raise to minus 6, this is the area of cross section in meter square into natural length that is equal to 1 by 2 meters. Therefore, this comes out to be the volume of the wire on multiplying these three and then dividing by 2, we get the potential elastic potential energy stored in the wire to be half into stress into strain into volume is equal to 1.9 into 10 raise to minus 4 joules. On substituting these three values over here in this equation, we get the final answer to be 1.9 into 10 ratio minus 4 joules. So, the final answer for the total elastic potential energy stored in the wire comes out to be 1.9 into 10 ratio minus 4 joules. The important thing which you should have, which you should remember in this question, uh, from this question is that there are various formulas for the elastic potential energy stored in the wire and that formulas are half into stress into strain into volume. Either you use this or you consider the wire as a spring of spring constant y a upon l. This formula can be used this concept can be used for finding out energy also and finding out the forces and the tension in the uh, wire also. So, this is an important concept which you should remember and the final answer comes out to be 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 4 joules.